not only does it sound like Aaron Rodgers' career isn't over after that Achilles injury we saw, he went on the Pat McAfee show for his first interview. He basically sounds like he has no intentions at all of retiring and will be back to play for the Jets. But shockingly, um, it sounds like he's not even ruling out a return this year, which is insane. I think it would be the fastest we've seen anyone ever recover from an Achilles injury. But this is now the sentiment of people in the NFL. Jets Aaron Rodgers aiming for mid-January return after suffering torn Achilles in week one per report. Rodgers reportedly received an internal brace called a speed bridge. Now, over the past couple of years, there have been some, some advancements made in Achilles surgery, in Achilles repair, in Achilles recovery, stuff like that. We remember back in the day, if it happened, you were gone for a year. That was pretty much it. It was shocking when Kobe came back in like eight to 10 months. Uh, but recently, Cam Akers, running back in the NFL, came back after five and a half months. This would be a lot quicker than that. I have a hard time believing it's possible with Aaron at his age um, and to come back in that way, you know, for a playoff run. But if that were to happen, holy shit, that would be wild. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I was curious if I've never been a fan of Aaron Rodgers until until the last few years because of how the media essentially turned on him after they propped him up uh, for ever in a day. Um, but yeah, like just his whole attitude has it seems to have changed a little bit. I, I, I feel like Aaron Rodgers is the type of guy he's he's been blessed with uh, unbelievable gifts over the years. Uh, he's obviously one of the greatest, if not the most talented quarterbacks we've ever seen Dan Marino. um yeah to, i put Dan marino uh, the, the difference is though man aaron Rodgers can throw almost as good as Dan marino and he can run you know what i mean like the mobility of him is he crazy. has mobility yeah yeah, yeah it, it, that's what the game changer is with him but just on pure passing Dan marino is the goat um but um yeah he seems to have be really determined and i guess man after you run out on the field to that ovation that he had in that moment on that day. And then it's taken away from you four plays into it. And, and this team seems poised. This team seems like they have a really good team. I, I, this is probably the mo only thing that can motivate him. You know what I mean? Cause if I bet you if he was still with the Packers and this happens, he may have just retired. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he, he sounds pretty up, upbeat when he was on a McAfee show, mainly cause he was dogging out. Um, Olberman. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. So, yeah, I think the motivation for this moment and everything and being in New York and, and the way that they've embraced him, I think he is more motivated now than he's ever been. And that's what's that's what's pushing this. This could be one of the greatest, you know, recovery stories we've ever seen. If he if he's able to pull this off, if the Jets can make the playoffs, uh, which seems it's like just, they, there's a lot of ifs, that, you know, that is because the, it, the, the AFC East is fucking stacked. Yes, you know what I mean? Loaded. <laughs> it's loaded. <laughs> and I don't know if the Jets can make the playoffs uh, today. Obviously, we got a massive matchup today that's going to kind of give us an idea of where both teams stand with the Dolphins and the Patriots. Uh, and then, you you know, you've got the Bills. So this is a stacked, stacked uh, conference right now division so i i think it's inspiring that he's uh got that type of mindset i would lean on the fact that i don't think the jets gonna make the playoffs yeah that's what i well, think i guess a good thing for them is, is that like the top three teams in the afc they all lost in week one yeah i mean when you look at the chiefs you look at the Bengals. yeah Bengals a lot of the teams and, uh, were expected up there buffalo bills. bills um a lot of things one the idea that he could recover that fast is very much in doubt. It's it would be blowing. something we we've never seen before, but with the advancements, who knows? But uh, also, it's also not on his plant leg either. That's true. that's a good thing. Yeah, but you know, it what you don't want to do is go out there and tear it again. Right. Um, that's what, you know I'm what I mean. Concerned about. Like to me, it feels like Aaron Rodgers is going to do his whatever he can to get back as fast as he can, but he is dedicated to playing next year regardless. That's what it sounds like to me. Um, a lot of things would depend on him being able to come back. One, is he able to recover? That's the biggest. Two, is he able to recover enough that they could put him on the field with not risk of him snapping it again? Three, are the Jets in the playoff hunt? And four, if they are in the playoff hunt, how well is Zach Wilson playing? If Zach Wilson's playing right. lights out, I don't know. Obviously, it's Aaron Rodgers. But still, if he's playing lights out and you're coming back from that type of injury, 
they might not consider it feasible to do something like that. that so true. a lot of things really up in the air, but the fact that Aaron Rodgers put in a lot of work over the off season, getting the best shape of his life, put a lot of mental energy into leaving the Packers, committing to the Jets, all this stuff, uh, uh, hard knock, all this stuff. He put a lot into this, and he is not willing to let it end after four snaps. And yeah, right. He's going to be back regardless of whether it's in January or whether it's in August, September of next year. But Aaron Rodgers, I, I do believe, is going to see the football field for the Jets again.